the move and push to distributed learning environments has had some interesting side effects on education, and one of these is the availability of valuable data that can guide decision-making in instructional and administrative processes. This was the premise and focus for participants and facilitators of the Analytics for Educational Administrators workshop, with a total of 35 participants from around the island. The workshop forms part of the Taiwan ICT in Education project, which has been active since 2019 and set to culminate in November 2022. At the closing ceremony held at the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College recently, Ambassador of Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Shen, said that the successes of the ICT in Education project would not have been possible without the willingness of administrators to welcome and promote ICT at all levels, including their own modus operandi. Education project proceeds to its last stage. The last mile, I would say, is to invest in educators and instructors, instructors' capacity to respond to learners' experience and to improve their learning outcomes. Learning analytics is thus an important and ideal tool to measure students' performance, support students' development, and improve the effectiveness and teaching practi practice and inform curriculum decisions through the data presented. The three-day workshop gave participants opportunities to curate, install, and use analytics tools embedded in various VLEs, along with third-party tools. The course was designed to help participants understand how learning analytics can be harnessed to improve their educational products and processes. Permanent Secretary Michelle Charles of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training says, when educational institutions realize the full value of their data, everyone is empowered. As a result, she says, administrators, principals, teachers, and even students can use facts, metrics, and data to guide strategic decisions. It's obvious that ICT in education is not only about smart classrooms and devices, but also about additional tools that would allow you to function more effectively as administrators in your position. As leaders within our education system, it is important that you lead by example and attune your minds to embracing change. Two school administrators reflected on the workshop and spoke to its relevance and significance, eager to adopt and implement what they have learned. We were able to engage with the material that was presented to assist us to be upskilled, upgraded, and more awkward with how we could gather information which will inform decisions. So often there are lots of data lying around, probably in desks, in filing cabinets, in, on desktops, but utilizing this data for informed decisions to be made is so, so important and relevant. And so we learned different tools that can be used, integrated with the systems that we utilize at our various schools. And of course, for us, as a result of this wide range of knowledge that we actually own, to be able to channel improved ways to better schooling within our institutions. I learned so much today. So I learned how to use add-ons and extensions within the Google Classroom and um, Excel sheets and Google Docs so that I can pull relevant data that would help me improve school culture, teacher perception, um, and just um, how to wait on improving the school so because data is so important and it's what we do with the data that matters so much. The Taiwan ICT in Education project concludes November 2022 after almost three years of intervention and support at all levels in St. Lucia's educational system. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Daniel Dubois reporting.